We're joined by Jason Pirtle of Locust Grove High School, All-State wide receiver on the Oklahomans' first team All-State uh, team. Uh, Jason, talk about this season uh, for you guys at Locust Grove. Uh, obviously came up short of the, uh, the big goal of the, the gold ball, but a very productive uh, and uh, a really, uh, really impressive season for you guys. What was it like for you? It was a good season. Uh, really disappointed I didn't get the gold ball. Uh, we learned a lot and we improved a lot from early in the season, I, I feel like. And the coaches worked hard, everybody worked so hard. And just wish we'd got the gold ball for the whole town, the community, and everybody. Talk about your season individually. You set some state records uh, yourself for uh, single season catches, touchdowns, receiving yards. Um, did you have, did you envision the possibility of, of being able to, to do something like that this season or did it kind of surprise yourself when you, uh, when you managed to do that? Well, actually, I didn't really pay attention to mine at all. I was paying attention more to Mason's, actually. I didn't know I was anywhere close to any records until after Heritage Hall I was told I was. And it was good. I mean, I hope to come back and improve on it next year and we'll see where it goes. Talk about that Heritage Hall game. Uh, obviously disappointing to lose that game, yeah. but, but for you, over 20 catches, nearly 400 yards. Uh, what was, uh, what was that, that game like just for you and, and Mason for seeming to be on just uh, the perfect wavelength? It was disappointing at all, but uh, it was it's good to have a game like that. I mean, I never thought I'd ever have a game like that. And I'm sure Mason, I mean, playoff records. Uh, I was more important to get the win, but hopefully go back and maybe we'll meet again next year and hopefully get the win. Talk about the connection that you have with your quarterback, Mason Fine, who you, you mentioned. He's the, uh, the single season uh, yardage record holder now in the, in the state, also career and single season touchdown passing leader. Um, talk about the connection that, that you guys have. Uh, it seems like you guys always know, um, you know where the other is and, and where the ball is going to be. Yeah, I mean, we work together all off season. I mean, we're about to get back on the field here come January probably. And uh, it's just that chemistry, you know, you gotta spend time with each other. You gotta throw the ball consistently every day to each other. And it's just getting to know him and he knows me and we both have good football knowledge and we both watch film together to figure out where all the holes are gonna be in the defenses. So it just works out well. And I'm glad he's here with me. And you're both just juniors, along with uh, several other key playmakers from uh, from the team that uh, that just finished the season in the state semifinals. Um, what's the uh, what's the motivation going into uh, into this off season, and uh, where do you want to see this team improve? Uh, we still got to get that goal ball for Big Kale. I mean, it's all about him still, and uh, we got to improve our defense a little bit. I mean, we're losing the corner and a couple D linemen, and then our offense line we got to improve, and wide receivers we're losing three key wide receivers from this year. So we're going to get back and work really hard and hopefully keep the offense same high tempo and high scoring and improve on our defense a little bit.